Hi, welcome back. Today I actually want to do a video on using Upscale here on Linux. It is an open source image upscaler that uses AI to up resolution your image using super resolution techniques. So the image I'm actually going to upscale is actually this one. It's a 24 megapixel image. I've saved it out of art, a raw therapy fork, in a 16-bit PNG. The program currently has issues with 16-bit uh, TIFFs. It will read JPEGs totally fine, but I feel if I'm going to upscale an image, I want to do it with a 16-bit file to retain all the color. So this is the image processed. I put a film preset onto it. But if I just go to 100% on this image, you can see the detail and the eyelashes, the eyes. You can see I was shooting at 1.8 with this on an 85 millimeter lens. The detail here in the lips. But if I go down some, you can see the detail here. And my main focus really is here on the skin tone areas. Because a lot of these upscaling programs just blur all this out and blend it together. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to close this. I have upscale open here. I'm going to bring up the Dolphin file browser. You can actually just drag and drop the image in there. Wait for it to load. You know, you can select image. I just dragged and dropped it in. So you have upscaling type. You can select general photo, real here, general photo here, general photo, ultra mix, balanced. I find these all blend the image together. So I do general photo ultra sharp is what I do. And then you have digital art and then you have sharpen image. All of these are actually up scaling the image to 2x and 4x resolution. So this is a 24 megapixel image. It's actually going to get upscaled to almost 100 megapixels. So after that, you do want to downscale it using something like GIMP. But I'm going to upscale it using these different ones specific for photo. And then we will compare them together when it is done. And it will put the image by default, your upscaled image, it will put it in the same folder as your image. So right now I'm going to have general photo ultra sharp, same folder. I'm going to click upscale. It's showing the resolution the image currently is and what it's going to upscale it to. So 16,000, that's over a hundred megapixel image. So I'm going to go through the upscaling, make sure the files are named properly so I know which one we're looking at, and then we'll view the images. Now, once you've upscaled an image, you actually, on the left of here, it'll give you a slider so you can see before and after. So as you can see, looking at the image here on the left, it's, it says original, and on the right is upscaled. So you can slide it. So you see the original and then the upscale version. But I'm just going to show the rest of the images that are upscaled using the different algorithms. So let's take a look at those inside of GIMP. Okay, now we're here in GIMP. As you can see, this is the original image. So if I do a one-to-one, -one, on this image, you know, as you can see, you know, this is the regular 24 megapixel image. So when you get your resolution over here in the top of GIMP, 4032 by 6056. But let's see, let's go to one of the next ones. This is upscale 4X real SR GAN or whatever <laughs> that means. 16,000 by 24,000. Okay, so if we do one-to-one -one on this, it's 
outrageously close. For the most part, this one did a very, very good job. But I mean, I'm at 25% zoom on this image. So, but on here, it looks like it's retained detail. But let's see. Let's go back to this image. I'm going to go one to one. So it's 100%. What I'm looking at here is the skin tone here where it's in focus and then skin tone where it's out of focus on the arm. So here it looks like it retained a lot of detail. You know, it didn't look, doesn't look like it blended the skin too much. But let's look here and then let's go to the same on this image. Okay, you know, you can see little details in the out of focus area. And you go to this one, as you can see, it blended the out of focus area a little bit. That is stuff I like to uh, avoid when I upscale images. So let's go to the next image. This is upscale Remarkey. So we're going to go ahead and do a 25%. Uh, okay, I can still see detail in the out of focus portion of the skin. Okay, looks like that one is actually retaining some detail pretty good. Let's look down here. Skin details look good. Looks like they've worked on, because this software did recently update on my system today. I have the flat pack version of Upscale installed. I like this upscale. This is one I have not tried. It looks like it's retained detail. The image is really sharp here on the eye. Let's go to this next one. Which one is this? Ultra Mix Balance. This one I've not had great luck with. Uh, this is one that I don't really care for. If you go in real close, you can kind of see what it's doing. It's like, uh, I don't know, it's doing something weird to the uh, colors. <laughs> it kind of is blending them together, I would say. So let's go 33. Detail is still there. Um, it's kind of, I don't know, really harsh detail there. Let me uh, go to the image previous. Go to 33 on this one. Okay, this one's not as harsh in this area as this one. And then we'll go to the one that I normally do that I prefer. I'm just going to go one to one. I'm going to drop it down to 33. This one upscales very, very nicely retains pretty much all the detail right down to the uh, out of focus grain on the image. Let's look back at this one here and bring it up into the grain section. Blur it blends it in a little bit and that's stuff that I tend to avoid. I like retaining the grain if there is grain in the image. Let's go here. You know, I do like this one. It's very, uh, very sharp, though, in that area. Just, But the one that I prefer the most is this one, just the upscale four times ultra sharp. Looks really good. Uh, it's not overly sharp like some of the other images are. You know, this is like really sharp in this area here. And go here. Still really, really sharp in that spot. Go to this one. Let me bump this to 33. You know, very, very sharp. The original image, you know, at 100%, man, it looks great. But it's 24 megapixels. You know, but, uh, you know, 33% zoomed in and it's looking like this. And if I go to 100, just to look at the skin detail retention, let's look in this area of the skin. Let's go to 100% on this one. 
and you can already see how it's kind of breaking down on this one. But the ultra sharp, it's actually retaining it, but it did not apply sharpening to it. We can go to this one here, go to one to one. A little bit better of a job actually. That's actually pretty usable on that one. What about this one? Go one to one. Yeah, okay, yeah, this one's really blending it a lot. This area doesn't really look natural. It looks kind of painterly. Go to the one that I prefer that's not altering it. It's just upscaling it. That's the one I definitely prefer. This one I would say, which one is this? This is the Remarque. I'd say this one's probably my second favorite that I, out of them all, in terms of the job it's doing. But see how drastic that is to that? The one I mostly prefer, the original, I can go in a little bit more. Let's see, I'm at 300%, and as you can see, I'm starting to get uh, jaggies on straight edges because it's only 24 megapixel. And then go here, nice and sharp. If I go back one, yeah, it looks really, really nice. So there's that full. And go to this full. So the 24 megapixel. And then the one I prefer, which I would still apply a little bit of sharpening to inside of GIMP. Um, this is actually really good. I've been waiting for some AI upscaling software to be released on Linux. Uh, looks like the AI algorithms are getting better and better with every update. Not blending the skin so much. I do find, though, if you upscale from a very low resolution image, um, this upscale, the ultra sharp, will still upscale it, but then you'll have to sharpen it yourself more. Uh, and the other ones will tend to blend colors together. But if you're working with like a 24 megapixel camera and you need, and you do say, food photography and someone wants to crop the image to a different crop but they're cropping it a lot you can run your image through this and through the upscale program upscale it to a high very very high resolution apply a little bit of sharpening after the fact and then they can crop it however they want I would work with 16-bit PNGs, so you retain as much color detail as possible. Um, it does put the images out in the sRGB color space, just for people out there that maybe are working in Adobe RGB or something else. But from what I'm finding, um, I was thinking of renting a high-resolution camera to do the cover of uh, another book for my wife. However, with this, because the next cover is going to be shot in the studio with the lens probably set at f8, f11 to get virtually everything in focus with off-camera lighting, um, <laughs> I can upscale, I can shoot wide, upscale, and have very high resolution from a 24 megapixel sensor, and then have enough data there to work with, um, but... Let me know. Would you use this stuff if you were in a situation where you were a client needed a higher resolution file? Me personally, this is great. It allows me to honestly wait for a higher resolution camera body to come out on the camera system that I'm using. Uh, because the current camera bodies that are out that are the resolution I want, I currently am waiting because I just want more video features. But 
This is something that uh, Photoshop got a while ago that I really wanted under Linux in open source software. And now we have it. Uh, link will be below in the description to download this uh, upscale program. And it, I believe it's available in an app image or if you set up Flatpak and the Flathub repository, you can install it using your software center on your Linux distribution as a flat pack. That is currently how I have it installed, even though I am running Arch. But let me know what you think. Uh, plan on doing some more videos, photography oriented, uh, some more video oriented videos. Once a camera that I have ordered shows up finally. It's a camera that only literally just came out like uh, seven, eight days ago. So, I, because I'm going to be doing some color grading tutorials with that camera. But uh, like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what else you'd like to see. Some more in depth stuff that you may want to see. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you and bye.